Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore classes. Today we are going to learn how to find square root by prime factorization method. Before we start with this method, let me clarify what a square root is because many of the viewers might not be aware about the concept of square root. So it will just take a moment. For example, let's suppose you have 4 to the power 2. This is known as 4 square and this is equal to 4 times 4 which is further equal to 16. So 4 square is 16. Now square root is a reverse process. Reverse means square root of 16 is equal to 4. Try to understand it now. When I did square of 4, I got 16. If I do square root of 16, I will get 4. That means square root, what does actually square root tells me? Let's suppose I need to find square root of 16. Then square root will tell me the number whose square is 16, which is there inside this symbol. And this symbol which is marked, this symbol is the symbol of square root. It is just a brief introduction. Many of you are already aware. But now the point is, root 16 is 4, I know that. Root 25, what will be square root of 25? It will be 5 because doing 5 square gives me 25. But always it is not easy to identify. That is why different rules are formed so that finding square root becomes easy. For example, a big number is there. You cannot directly, sometimes you are not aware whose squares gives me this value. At that time, some methods are there like prime factorization method is there, division method is there, different methods are there. In this video, we are going to cover prime factorization method. Let me start with, let us suppose you need to find square root of 4. Why I am starting from square root of 4? Because I want to take a simple value so that concept remains clear. Now prime factorization of 4, that means splitting up 4 into product of its prime factors. 4 can be written as 2 multiply 2, right? 4 can be written as 2 multiply 2. Now listen to the rule carefully. We need to make pairs here. 2 is coming twice. This is in pair, right? So what we will do, if a number is coming twice inside the square root sign, that number will come out of it, will be written once. That means this pair of 2 will give me only 2 and square root of 4 is 2. And you can verify it. What will be the square of 2? Square of 2 is 4. See, reverse answer I am getting. A simple example I have taken so that concept is clear. You can take 9 also, like square root of 9, you will get 3 multiply 3. 3 is in pair, so 3 is the answer. So ultimately, we are going to check for the pairs. I am going to show you another example. For example, let us suppose you are to make find square root of 36. Even though I know that 6 square is 36, so its answer will be 6. But let us try to apply prime factorization method. Now, many students sometimes face this problem while prime factorizing this 36. So I am going to tell you an easy way. Let us suppose 36, you write like this. Lowest prime number is 2. So start dividing by 2. In the If you divide 36 by 2, you will get 18. Continue by 2 by the time it is divisible. Like 18 is still divisible by 2. I get 9. Now 9 is not divisible by 2. So take the next prime. It is 3. So divided by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Again with 3, 3 times 1 is 3. So prime factorization method is very simple. See, product of all these will give you 36. So I can split 36 as 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. I hope it is clear. Now next step was to make the pairs. 
I am going to make pair of two, pair of three. See, two pairs are available. First pair will give me one, two outside the square root symbol. Second pair, it will give me three. Just multiply them. We will get our final answer. I hope prime factorization method is clear now. This is not the only example. We are going to take some other examples as well to make the concept more clear. For example, let us take, let's suppose you want to find square root of 64. I know 8 square is 64, but 8 is not prime. So I am coming up with the prime factor so that taking out commons or making the pairs I can teach properly. You keep on dividing by 2 by the time it is possible. You can do it quickly because it is not difficult. Keep on dividing. See and do the counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6. 6 times this 2 is coming. So just split 6 to 4. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Again 2 times 2. Now make the pairs. First, second and third. There are three pairs now. If there are three pairs, every pair will give me one value. And my final answer will be 8. But sometimes, now problem lies. Let's suppose you get one question. Square root of 12. Now 12 is not a perfect square. 12 is not a perfect square. So what will I do? Do remember it. It will be 2 multiply 2 multiply 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Now this 2 is coming in pair. It will give me 1, 2 outside. That is for sure. But what will 3 do? 3 is alone. You cannot do anything. Keep 3 inside. So this is the answer. Square root of 12 can be written as 2 times root 3. This is very important to know. It's going to be used further in different type of calculations. Will be very helpful. For example, let's suppose you have square root of 40. 40 is not a perfect square. So what to do with prime factorization? You can make its prime factorization like 2 times 20, 2 times 10, then 2 times 5. This is what you will get. 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Make pairs. First two numbers are making a pair. I will bring this 2 outside. But this 2, this 5, they are alone. They are not in pairs. You cannot do anything. Keep them inside. They will not come outside. So 5 times 2 is 10. Root 40 can be written as 2 root 10. This is the process to be followed. Now you are ready to do any big number. Any big number you can try out. Let's suppose you have got one question uh, 184. Let's suppose square root of 184 we need to find. Now it's not a perfect square, right? But still you can start doing it. Let us make its prime factorization. 184 start dividing by 2. If I divide it by 2, I will get 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 2 is 4. Again divide by 2, I will get 46. Again divide by 2, I will get 23. Now 23 is a prime number which can be divided only by 23. That means root 184 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 23. First two are making a pair, right? So this two will come out. But last two and 23 both will remain inside. And your answer will be 2 times square root of 46. So root 184 can be written as 2 times root 46. I have tried my best to clarify the concept. How pairs are made. How pairs are taken out. If one number is making pair, other is not making the pair. That means that will remain inside. You can try out different questions from your books or by selecting any number from your mind. You can try out. I hope you will be able to do. In case if you feel problem, you can write to us. Obviously, we are going to help you out. Thank you so much for watching the video.